Hi everyone and welcome back. This is a new mini playlist and in this playlist we are talking about how we can deploy a React package, a Node.js package and Nest.js package to the GitHub. So we are going to create our private packages like a Node.js library package, React UI component package and Node.js utility package and then we are going to use those utility packages in the external projects. So this is a mini playlist because I wanted to cover all these things together. So there will be a couple of uh, videos in this. Hi everyone. So in this video, let's talk about how we can publish a custom dynamic package. Okay. Uh, in using Nest.js. So this we have already covered in the last video. This we are covering now. And this is something which we want. I mean, I we publish this package and the consumer should be able to do for root and for root async. So this particular thing I have already covered uh, in depth as a blog in blog. I'm going to use the same concept to create an SCS dynamic module and publish that to the NPM or oh, sorry GitHub so that uh, we can use it. So here uh, we are going to write a new code. I am going to delete this uh, shared folder. We are going to create a random number service. Okay. A service which generates a random number from minimum zero to hundred. It's like a simple code. So in source, we can create some interfaces. And these interfaces have only two interfaces. Okay, this is what the values you are going to provide. And we are going to create a service random number service.ts. So here I can create so because we need to create a service random number. So this service this service should be able to give me the random number it's a folder not a service I will create a file injectable so we can just create a simple class I always need autocomplete Injectable why it's not there, we can import. Okay, leave it, we will just see export class number service. So in this we need to provide options. I mean, in what particular range you want uh, random numbers, right? And random number options we can get from here. And here we have a constructor for this. Inside constructor, we are going to pass options, which is of type partial random, random number options. And inside this constructor, this dot options because this property we need to initialize object dot assign empty object default uh, random number options. So what this is doing, if you just see, let me import this. How can I get it? Injectable, I you can get from nest just common. Okay, so this is options. Private options is declared here, but not used. Okay, now we can write a simple method generate. This generate method is going to return a number. 
and what it is doing const range so in the options we are going to define the range this dot option dot max minus this dot options dot min this is the range and return this dot options dot min plus math dot uh, floor math dot random just a, a simple way to create random random number and this is the range in which I want them. So this is a simple service. I will try to expose this service through a simple dynamic module. Right. So what I will do is I will create a module here random number module. Now this is a little important how we do it. And we can pass the empty object. And here, sport class random number module. And inside, we can define the static method for root. Because what happens while initialization, we are going to execute random number module dot for root. So, method should be static. And it is going to take options as an argument. This is the option you are going to pass random number module and it is going to return a dynamic module so if it is returning dynamic module we need to return const providers what all provider we have provider takes two argument write the class what we are providing we are providing a random number service and what value we are going to get use value new random service and we are passing these options okay so this is how we are getting the provider and what finally we will return it what this for root method will return providers provider is equal to this provider what we are exporting providers so they can be accessed by other places and module is random number module let me import this thing so simple module which is exposing this for root method i mean for root async is little different for root is just taking static options and returning as these providers exports and modules now we got the module we got the service and these all these things we are going to export from here so what all things we are going to export we will add that here this is random module same we have done already import this from and we are exporting a service and just export them and the options this interface we can export both so that because whoever is going to use this will also be needing these interfaces random number service options and there is one more interface Let's export both from number interface now. Just export all these things. Random number module service and both the interfaces. So you can see we just want to do a simple demo, but what this service and module is doing. This module is exposing for root method. You need to pass the options, okay, min, max values. And based on that, this particular module is giving us the providers. And this provider is nothing but a class. And this class is giving us the value when you are calling the generate method on top of that. Right, so we can publish it now. 
Now whoever is going to use this module, how he is going to consume it, he will just declare the dependencies here dot for root and it is going to pass we are going to pass both the values random number module dot for root and it is taking options as an argument so we will provide a min is ok 10 and max is 100 I need a number in this range when you publish it and when you import it this is how it is going to work we will import this random number module from tk sharma nest package okay and this is how you will do the static initialization i mean uh, static invocation of this dynamic module for root is giving us all the thing we need and then in this app service you can call the random service dot generate method you can inject the, the random service uh, we can what we can do is we can publish this package and use it I'm able to do it and then I can just do npm publish I increase the package version and this 4.2 is published and you can see what it is pushing in the package the interface typings index.d.ts and I can just show you all the types it is exporting the modules interface your service and then your module okay so now we can use this module now let's try to make it little advanced by creating it as a pure dynamic module. So this is all about how we can create a simple uh, dynamic module in the nest yes. Now we are going to provide another interface where you can do for root and for root async both using the dynamic module. So let's cover that in the, in the next video.